Hi everyone. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, if you're not into this kind of thing, skip forward about 30 seconds. But recently we found out that Peter from over at Murder Metal Mayhem is critically ill in hospital. I did a community post and um, kindly Jennifer, his partner, stopped by and... Um, thanked everyone for their messages over there but I think it's very important for us to take a moment and just to understand that look content creators and the people within this community at the end of the day are all humans they're all humans yes we may not know one another and the time we spend together may only be in this virtual space but everybody is a real person, apart from bots, I suppose. But we know who the bots are. Look, this community on here that we have built together is a fantastic community, and for the most part, we don't really get a massive amount of trolls. We do occasionally, but but not not that many. Not that many on the grander scheme of things. And like I say, the, for the most part, you're absolutely amazing. But if you are someone who is stopping by to be a troll and you're calling people names or you're being nasty or you're, you 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 do you know what I mean? When you're not sort of discussing the argument, you're just attacking the individual. Just try and step back and just remember that you are talking to a real person. And like Pete, nobody really knew that Pete was going through what he was going through. And it wasn't until he ended up in hospital that people then become aware that there's a problem i know there's some people who like to share what is going on in their lives with their communities but some don't some don't some just want to be here for you guys and do what they like to do and they enjoy doing you know the, to to be a content creator and provide their communities with something that provides them with entertainment or some escapism themselves. You know, some people come to YouTube purely to escape the mundane, the monotony of their lives, or perhaps they themselves are ill. Perhaps they don't have a massive support network. And in fact, those online are their only support network. Think about those around you and just try and be a little kinder. And again, for the most part, there's people who are already doing that, and you guys are absolutely amazing. But this message is mainly to those who aren't. And they come onto these platforms and attack people for no other reason but to attack people. Maybe the way they look, the way they talk, their grammar, their thought processes, the way they think about certain things. What gives them people the right to tell you how to think and how to feel? Ignore it because you're amazing and I wish the very very best not only to Pete but to anybody who is going through stuff silently that they don't tell the world about we're here and I'll catch you all in the video that's now about to start how about that Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. You amazing, amazing, beautiful, wonderful people. It's a midweek hump. It's a midweek hump. And this is video two of two. Just two. As I'm trying to set up something because we're going back into doing lives tomorrow. But I shut the entire studio down because we're going away. And living in a militarized zone... We have to sort of shut everything away and make sure it's safe while we're spending time away. Uh, gotta love the UK, but that's just the way things are. So I've I've had to buy another like laptop in order to do the live tomorrow because it's easier to do that. Than it. Anyway, oh, I digress. I digress. What are we talking about today? We're talking about an email that I received. Received an email, kindly, thank you very much, you know who you are, and it was talking about something that's happening in and around the Moscow um, Moscow area. Troy, 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 Troy. Now, we know there has been an ongoing feud between Doug Wilson, that's Christchurch, the family, and 
law enforcement. This stemmed back to the um, the days of the pandemic when um, the sticker gate was born. Sticker gate, and there is still an ongoing court case. Whereas they are the the family, the Wilson family are fighting for their fighting for their rights. Fighting for their rights, they 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 found that the way in which the the Moscow PD, the local PD, were operating was was reminiscent of Soviet times. The boot, the head under the boot, bosh bosh bosh, and all that. And it's this has been ongoing. I think the last filing was actually back in April, sort of mid April. So this is ongoing. This is ongoing. So with there being such animosity between these two. And this seeming power struggle, it was interesting to see pictures that I received, um, again from a local, showing Moscow PD, not only Moscow PD, but other sort of law enforcement outfits, doing a training exercise at a place owned by none other than the Wilson family. So, are we seeing a shift in the old guard? We're seeing the likes of James Fry, for instance. He is, um, he is adios, farewell, on gone. He's going. Um, it may be that he goes into a, a, a more senior position somewhere. Who knows? We've we've seen some people getting accolades recently. The likes of um, uh, our fan favourite, who recently appeared in court. He also got. Officer of the Year Award. Officer of the Other Year. That's because the others hadn't done anything at all, apparently. And he was involved in a case that's still going through the courts. And he recently got made to look somewhat of a fool. But anyway, who am I? I, I don't set up these rewards. They do. They choose who, who should receive them. But I wonder whether what we're seeing is a change in the old guard. You know, are we seeing Christchurch further get hold of the community? Now, they are quite a powerful group of people. Their infrastructure is growing within Moscow, Idaho. And it makes you wonder, we've spoken about the Idaho 4 case at length, to some people's dismay, <laughs> still, Um and we've talked about what could have happened with these with these students. We've spoken about numerous things. The frat boy fight. We've spoken about the potential that was there a narcotic situation on the peripheral that that sort of led to this tragic event. All of these things are possible, as is the fact that Brian Koberger just did it. It's possible, but we just don't know yet. We have no conclusion. And as we are following things through the court system... We don't seem to be getting any clearer to an answer. By now, you would think that we would be seeing things that would be kind of nailing the coffin lid down. Do you know what I mean? But but we're not really seeing that. And in fact, as time progresses, the push narrative is actually becoming weaker and weaker. Again, not everybody agrees with that. And wherever you turn and you see something that looks not right you have a group of people who are pushing why it is right and in fact it's the the defense who are being the problematic ones gray who's but who knows who knows what will happen who knows what the outcome will be but what we do know is christchurch movement is a big movement is a big organization a powerful organization and we're seeing some odd behaviors we're seeing some odd behaviors in the likes of bill thompson who seems to have lost his ability to not only talk but actually move he hasn't got off his seat in the um in the last two herons and um I, I struggle to see whether he has turned turned red or not, but certainly, I don't know. Anyway, I digress yet again. I suppose my point is to bring this to you. This was a piece of information. It could be absolutely nothing. could be nothing. But I do find it incredibly interesting that when you do have the Wilson family who are still in what seems to be an ongoing dispute with law enforcement, why they seem to be offering them a place to to train to um to to use their facilities are they trying to build bridges or again as aforementioned is this the sign of a new guard 
And are we seeing out with the the people who don't get on with Christchurch and actually seeing some more people come in who seem to share some of their thoughts and um and and mindsets? And will we see a flourishing relationship? And was the Idaho four case anything to do with that being a um being a possibility? Was that was that a catalyst perhaps? Are the Christchurch and all of this situation something that could have led to bloodshed? Let me know down below. Because at this stage, anything is possible. Anything. But again, I do find it quite interesting that they are um, they're sharing space. Anyway, maybe it's just a sign of people trying to get on with one another. Peace on earth, goodwill to all men and all that. Let me know down below what you think. And I'll catch you all tomorrow live. Isn't that exciting? I'll catch you then. Mm -hmm.